Hello, welcome to the video for what is the main material, physical material property. Let me go ahead and show you this example here. The physical material is accessed as the first property node over here when you select the background or your main material node itself. Physical material only has one property. It basically allows you to create a new physical material or choose an existing physical material. Physical materials are not covered in this video. They are a separate video. Look for the what is the physics material. Now, physical materials themselves do nothing to the output of the node itself. If you notice, I clicked on our physical material and it looks the same. Physical material is simply used to define the physical definition of the material itself, such as if we were to go into our project settings and go into physics, down here you're going to find different surface types. Right now, I, for example, I have one called ice, but I could have fire, grass, water, road, stone, metal, wood, and then using a physical material, you're allowed to assign those properties, such as ice, for example. And then using those physical properties and maybe a line trace, you could have the player running down a, a dirt road and it could sound like dirt and they could have maybe a little dirt puff of smoke. And then when they switch to grass, it now sounds like grass. And if they switch to metal, it now sounds like metal planks. And it's a way of giving a physical, not necessarily appearance, but a physical, a physicalness to a material itself. Now, again, like I said, physical materials are covered in a different video. Go ahead and look for that for more details. But all you need to know is if you need to get some sort of a physical tag or apply physical characteristics to your material itself, you use the physical material property here and simply assign it or create a new physical material asset and edit it from there. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.